Now tell me a little bit more about the new album then. Lucky to have you know, a core group of guys that, you know, they're all always going to bring something unexpected and wonderful to it. I think everyone's personality, you could, you could name everybody on the record and what part they did, you know, so it's, cool. it's a nice snapshot. And there's no real super egos going on either too, so like if ideas get bounced off, whether they get accepted or rejected, it's like, all right, well, cool, what's next then? Right. You know, no one's like, well, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, it's like it's it's all good vibes, you know. Hi right, guys, uh, I'm John Hutchins, the owner of the venue. Hey, else. Else. So, after all that time, it had been pretty good stepping back in with the old band, mm -hmm. and doing everything once you know, after eight years, nine years. Yeah, and I was in a really different groove for for those eight years too. Right. I was doing a whole different thing. Grady was on a whole different vibe to it different lifestyle that accompanies it, you know. Um, it just seems like I'm in a, I don't know, a brighter, more easygoing place. Right, right. Yeah, it's great you can get pretty dark. <laughs> <Grady> is <laughs> kind of aggressive. You have to be in the right frame of mind. I don't, I'm not sure a Grady, Big Sugar, I don't think I could do those two bands the same. <laughs> no, it would be a, <laughs> a whole <laughs> different, different, different way the end of the tour. Yeah, I could be, yeah. Different kind of crowds mushing together out there. Yeah, yeah, a lot of different things happening. Um, but this is, I don't know, this seems to suit my frame of mind more lately. So this is a feeling real natural. So it, it's got to be good to be able to reach out to the fans where they get to see both of their bands together on the same tour and being able to be like, you know, that's, that's great. It's seeing both at, at once and being able to be like, hey, there's there's one guy I know from the other. Wait a minute, you know, sometimes people not. I'm sure that you guys are together like that, so it's got to be like, wait a minute, didn't I just see him playing with the other band <laughs> or something yeah, like that? Been, yeah, yeah and I, I think the good thing too, Wide Mouth Mason is, you know, or the two bands are different right. enough from each other, but not to the point where you, if there were, you know, fans, fans would be fans of both bands, got the same, you know, CDs in their collection or whatever. Right. It's, you know, it makes... So that still makes sense to me, you know, like, so I imagine, you know, there's a lot of people out there that it's a, a good combination. Yeah, definitely. Now, is there ever times when you're writing stuff and you might think it might be a better fit for White Mouth Mason or, or switch it back to the other or ha present something to one band and say, you know what, I'm actually thinking about giving it to the other guys? I mean, because you're uh, you know, not only the writer, you're producing and everything like that, too. Well, you know, um Question, because a lot of the material that ends up being on Revolution Per Minute were songs that were written with other artists in mind. Mm -hmm. I, mean, you, I work as a songwriter strictly um, right. a lot of the year too. And I just I found I had this book of you know, it was like the uh, it was like the Humane Society for unloved songs, okay. you know what I mean? Like nobody wanted these songs. It was the runt of the litter. Worked with an artist. They recorded twelve songs, and this one never ended up getting recorded. So I had all these songs that I really thought were quite good, and I kept shelving them away and going, I don't really have an outlet for these right now, but there will be a day when the, the right right moment comes to record it. And and in many cases, those songs ended up on the on the new Big Sugar record. That's cool. So I've been collecting them, and sometimes they they marinate for you know ten years more. Even there's bits of songs in there that are right. Than that, so. That's cool. It's got to be good for you guys to have a, an outlet like that where you're like you know what we need one more song for this or we need a B side or something like that. You know, open up your book, let me see what fits and what what does. Ideas, and even if they don't get incorporated that minute, you know, the, I file them away in my, in my mind and sometimes it'll be a couple of years and say, hey, let's, we had that song with that bridge that went, you know, that's how things end up showing up on that. Cool. So where can the fans get tour dates, music, anything like that? Like, They got this thing called the internet. You should check it out. <laughs> Trust me, you can find anything. <laughs> What is our thing? You What's got your thing? Big Sugar big website, sugar. you got your Facebook com. page, you got a Twitter feed. Really? So do the Masons. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It's fingers everywhere. 
They got it on computers now. They got the internet for the computer. This, uh, <laughs> this worldwide web thing. <coughs> anyway, it's gonna really catch on. I'm just giving you some early distant warning. Heads up, you get a heads up. The internet is gonna be the thing. Man. Buy some internet fun. stock. Get some stock yeah. in the internet. Yeah. Yeah. You can buy our music on there. And all <laughs> sorts of things. Yep. Bigsugar.com then? Yeah. Let's say that. Whitemouthpason.com? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and say. <laughs> and on each one, I'll have links to your, your each Facebook, has Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, all that, yeah. and everything that goes you on there. You with my attorney. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you guys want to promote? Uh, uh, we, we wrote uh, and recorded a Christmas song. <laughs> yes, we did. All right, yeah, we did. All the folks that are, all the folks here, with Meredith and both Wide Mouth. Right. Cool. Make sure we put everyone in the studio, like basically both both bands, like set up almost in a circle where we could the drummers could see each other. Right. And we could see each other. Uh, two drummers, two bass players at once. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And we recorded a, uh, what, for lack of a better description, a, uh, a dirty Christmas song. <laughs> <laughs> is it dirty? It is pretty dirty. Oh, I didn't really catch that. In the adult sense. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Mature content. It's an adult Christmas song. <laughs> yeah. So we, uh, we've, we've been passion. playing it every night. We'll be playing it tonight, I'm yeah. sure. Cool. And then on the web, you guys get that on the site? Yeah. Yeah. It's on iTunes. Yeah. It's on Santa don't bring you no funk. If Santa don't bring you no funk, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. Santa. Look at you. Of course I will. <laughs> <laughs> Rode in on his burrow. <laughs> cool. All right, then. That means... Uh, BigSugar.com, WhiteMountMace.com, tour dates, Christmas song, different stuff, Twitter, Facebook, it's all there, guys, so make sure to check it out. I appreciate everything, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. Yes. Thank you. All right, man. Thanks, guys. Cool.